Hi everyone, I'm Catrice, a Community Activation and Learning Officer with the City of Melton. And I'm Carly from the Currenjang Community Hub. Today we're going to run through some basic Christmas wrapping. Um, so we're just going to show you how to wrap a bunch of different shaped and sized presents. Okay, so I'm going to start by showing you how to wrap a basic shaped present, so just a box. And I'm going to use some um, Aussie style paper. So I've just got some um, Aussie looking paper, if you can see that there, just from Kmart. And I've also just taken a little snippet of eucalyptus from the garden, so I'm going to pop that on top. So I'll just start by rolling this paper out and just measuring it first. Want a little overlap. All right. Cut that off. All right. And what I've done is I've just stuck a little bit of blue tack underneath my sticky tape dispenser there just to keep it in place to make it a little bit easier to pull it off. All right. So I've cut that paper and I'm just going to start by folding it straight over the top first. I'm going to try and make it as central as I can. Just a little bit of tape. And then I'm going to get my ends and just fold them down as well. So I'm just going to do that by pushing in the sides Folding down the top, and then that little peak, I'm actually going to bend that right over and then just tuck it all in so it sits nice and neat. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So just fold in those sides. Just bend that little piece down and then just tuck it up. That's it. All right, so that's just some basic wrapping there. And then from Kmart as well, we've just got some Hessian style ribbon. So I'm just going to measure that around the same way I did with the wrapping paper just so that it's enough to cover the present both long ways and then upper sides as well. All right, so I've got my ribbon cut. I'm just going to flip the present over so that I can tape it on the back. Just tape it down. And then do the same with the other side. I'm going to make this a little bit off center so that it sort of sits to the top a little bit. Right, so the ribbon's attached there and I'm just going to take my little strand of eucalyptus here. And I also got these really cute little um, Aussie style decorations from Kmart too. So they're just wooden. So I'm going to use the little echidna and I'm actually going to use that as my gift tag. So you can use a Sharpie or you can use a little paint pen or something like that. And you can write to and from on there if you like. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that little strand of eucalyptus and I'm actually just going to feed it under the ribbon there. And then just take the little um, ribbon that's come with the echidna and just attach that around the eucalyptus as well. And there we've got a cute little Aussie style present. Okay, I'm just gonna show you how to wrap. It's just a little stack of books. So I'll do the same as Catrice. We'll just measure out the paper. So I'm gonna try and not waste too much. I probably don't need to use the whole sheet of paper here. So I can trim this paper down because I won't need the whole sheet there for all these books. So I'll cut 
cut mine here. So I just trimmed the paper down. I folded the edges there just so the paper's a little bit neater. So I'll just place a little bit of sticky tape at the top there. Now, because of the size of the books, there's probably quite a bit of wastage on the paper ends there. So you can trim that down or you can just fold them. I am going to trim them. I'm just a little bit OCD when it comes to present wrapping. fold that little peak down and then bring that up and just take the end and then do the same with this top bit little box of three books wrapped up now I'm gonna use we bought um, some of this it's called Christmas craft gold fleck ribbon so I'm gonna wrap that around so I'm gonna measure quite a bit out because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie mine into a bow in one big piece so That way first. Even the ribbon out. Tie a little half knot at the bottom, like that. And then flip that over. Just go underneath. and tie that in a knot at the top. And that'll give you like the top of a bow there. And then you can add a little bit of eucalyptus. You could add a Christmas bauble. You could cut off a bit of tinsel or even use a tag like Catrice did. So I'm just gonna stick this little twig of eucalyptus in there through where the bow is. And then tie this into a little bit of a bow. That you can look to see. And then just cut that bit off there. And that's just a big hessian bow on there with a little bit of eucalyptus. All right, so I'm going to show you now um, how to rewrap something. So I ordered this, it came from overseas and the, dam the box is completely damaged. So I'm just going to take the gift out of the box. So a little incense burner, get rid of that. And what I've done is I've just, from the reject shop, I've just grabbed a gift box and some tissue paper. I'm going to show you how to rewrap. I've got my tissue paper. It's got a cute little um, bit of silver glitter on it. And I'm gonna take my gift and just gently wrap it in there. So I'll fold in the sides and I'll just roll it up. And then to seal it from the reject shop as well, I just got some of these little silver star stickers. And I'm just gonna use that to hold it down, hold that tissue paper down there. And then I've got the matching tissue paper and I've just lined my gift box with that. I'm also gonna use a little bit of raffia on the bottom as well. I can get it up there, there we go. And just, not neatly, just stick some in the bottom of the gift box and just spread it out. And then I'm just gonna pop that wrapped gift into the box. And it's also come with some little uh, incense burners as well. So I'm gonna place that in the box too, if you can see that there. And I'm just gonna gently fold in those corners and then just stick the lid on. So I'm just gonna 
to get some of that raffia and I'm actually just going to wrap it around the box just like a shoelace and tie a bow just to keep the lid down. And then once you've tied one of the bows, I've actually just got some Christmas craft plywood ornaments from Kmart. And I'm just gonna take the little Christmas tree one and feed it around the end of my bow here. And I'm gonna use that as my gift tag and then just create one more bow. And then that's what it's gonna look like. So we've just got a little um, carry-on suitcase here. So we're just gonna show you that you don't necessarily have to wrap it in wrapping paper for it to be wrapped nicely to go to somebody at Christmas time. So you can just buy, again, we just went to Kmart and the reject shop this morning and bought a whole bunch of um, quite cheap and budget-friendly wrapping papers and ribbons and stuff. So this ribbon came ready-made. And it's just got a little bit of peel off backing there on the back. So you just peel that off and it's like double sided tape. So I did eventually get the backing off that ribbon. Um, so you can literally just stick it on the front. I don't know if this material is gonna handle that too well though, but you can just stick a bow on the front like that. And then that sits under the Christmas tree and it looks incredibly festive. Um, you can add a ribbon at the top here if you want. You could add some raffia. You could wrap it if you really wanted to, but given the size of it, you're probably just going to be wasting some wrapping paper. Alternatively, you can also... Now, Kmart had a full range of giant Santa sacks. So, depending on the age of your recipient, sometimes kids prefer to have something to be done to unwrap. So, you can get these really big... Santa sacks. I think these are like pole bullers from Kmart. So your other option is just grab that. And the whole thing's covered that way. And you could tie a bow at the top of the bag. You didn't want them to see what was in there. But yeah, that's a really easy couple of options on how to wrap a suitcase. Alright, so if you've got some um, like unusual shaped presents that are really hard to gift wrap like a hat or, you know, some clothing or something like that. Use a gift bag. It's so much easier than trying to work your way through your wrapping. So you can either pop it into like the gift box like we did earlier, or I just grabbed a gift bag from, I think it was the reject shop. With the gift bags, I do like to dress them up a little bit. So you put a little bit of tissue paper on the inside. And I've actually just taken a really cute little um, Christmas ornament here and I've just tied it to the front there. And then you can just pop your gift inside. And it's as simple as that. Alternatively, if you've got something really small that's going to get lost in, you know, a bag or a box. I picked up this really cute little anklet from a local market and these little hessian bags from Kmart. So you can just pop it in there and then do it up. And then same deal, you can, you know, take one of these really cute little ornaments or a little bit of tinsel and just tie it around. Or else you can just make a little bow with the little rope there. And it can be something as simple as that. You can also pop that into an envelope with a Christmas card or attach it to, if you've got them another present, you can always attach it to the front of the other present. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna show you how to wrap um, in a bonbon style. So I've just got a little gift box here and just some tissue paper. And I'm just going to roll it. The tissue paper just kind of gets a bit crinkly, so just straighten it out as you roll. And just make sure when you put your box in the paper that it is centered. And then once you've rolled it up, just take a piece of sticky tape and seal it down in the middle. All right, and then you just wanna get your end and just twist it just gently. And then I'm just gonna use a little bit of raffia. That'll do. And just tie it on the end. 
So the raffia um, is a little bit thicker as well. I'm just going to fold it in half too. And then just tie it like you're tying a shoelace again. Let's make a bow. And the same on the other side. And then I've just got some moshi tape. So it's just a really cute um, gold glitter bit of moshi tape. And then I'm just going to turn around the little bonbon present onto its back and just stick it down and create a little bit of a candy cane stripe through the middle. This is really easy and so much easier than actually using ribbon because it just takes straight down and doesn't move. And then once you've got it where you like, just trim off the end. And I'm actually going to stick a little candy cane to the side as well using the moshi tape. So I'll just pop the candy cane in the middle. And we've got a little bonbon style present. All right, so that's all the presents wrapped up and under the tree now. Um, so we have wrapped a few off camera. So just if you see, if you zoom in, you'll see a few little bits and bobs. So that is a video on some different wrapping techniques. Um, have a look at our Melton Learning Directory YouTube channel and also www.meltonlearning.com.au for any other videos and also programs. We are launching our term one programming on the our enrollment day is December 7th. So you'll be able to enroll for term one programming then. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks everyone, bye.